new anime trailer coming up, and this is for fall 2024. I, be I believe it's for this specific anime. Sorry, you guys can't see my face. Sorry, you can't see it because of my face. Nagaki no Bore ha What the hell does that mean? It's Treasure Hunters. Let's become Treasure Hunters. We got two trailers here I want to check out. Let's get it. Okay, first trailer is this one. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah? Yeah? Hmm. Well, just looking at his face, this just typical. It's, I, this isn't an isekai, it doesn't seem like. It seems like a fantasy dungeon experience, but. Alright, we got the Ikim and de default uh, face. What's going on though? Why is he so lack of motivation? Uh, yeah. Undefeated? Oh, it's this anime. <laughs> alright, we, right, we kind of know about this. I remember because... It's shameless for me to admit this, but it's this single booty cheek right over here. This is reminding me where we were. I saw this trailer, not this trailer, but a scene where Otaku Spirit talked about this anime, I think. <laughs> oh shit, it's Fairu. Fi I'm sorry if I'm butching her name, but that voice actor for Jolene as well. Umelia, level 99 villainous. Delta, Eminence and Shadow. She's getting a lot of crazy roles. <laughs> <laughs> So is it really that he's strong or is it that his girls are strong? Right? The premise of this show seems to be the undefeated treasure hunter, but he's never had a proper fight because of his companions? I mean, the whole setup, it looks pretty hype, right? You have a guy that doesn't seem to give a fuck, who's undefeated, has OP girls, right? But there must be some sort of, um, there must be some sort of power fantasy that goes beyond him just looking for a good thing, right? Maybe kind of like Saitama where he's so bored that he's too powerful, right? The animation, it looks... I mean, we might be getting catfished right now, right? And like, what is the animation studio actually? If we look here, the studio is 0G. And 0G is... Responsible for anime such as... Oh my! Okay, what, what is this? <laughs> Uh, nobody asked to be re is this is Inukai san's dog but you get reincarnated as a cat for an elf girl okay we're getting distracted but they've done this that's for 2025 so we'll keep an eye for that 2025 they've done oh this anime i hear that this is like a pretty cool murder mystery but this girl got huge gazongas right any other anime not that i recognize that so it's like a pretty like maybe there's animes that you guys recognize here that's a quality but just basing off of it it could be trash, it could be good, but hey, I got one more trailer. Let's check this one out. That's right, hold up. <laughs> what is this kid? Okay, of the friends here, I recognize the- Okay, so he is surrounded- Because these are childhood friends. So, the guy here, undefeated, because childhood friend girls are OP, and there is also a Bochi the Rock over here wearing a cardboard box. <laughs> Look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy on the far left! Who is this dude? What? So you guys can't really see because my hair is this. Look at this guy! What the hell is he wearing? And he must be the gigantic tank dude later on, right? Because there was like an armored figure. Yeah, this guy! It must be this guy, bro! He, so, this is, you know, the red hair guy. And then these are the three girls. And then this is the tank. Oh, wait, wait. I saw it. I... Oh... 
Cerulean isekai. If it was only circular, then I'd say, ah! I mean, it's got a big castle in the middle. Grieving souls. Jesus. Wonder who is everyone's favorite girl is gonna be. I feel like this girl is gonna be super popular. Tan pink hair girl. Voice actor Fairu, or maybe this girl, booty cheek girl. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. And then there is a softer girl too, right? There's one more girl, but uh, the waifu wars are gonna be crazy. <laughs> oh god, that's CGI. <laughs> yeah, this girl. Oh. Villains? Okay, we got some worthy opponents, but I don't know if they're gonna be worthy because this is gonna be like a comical show. Better help out. <laughs> I mean, it looks... I, I, I know that we could be getting catfished here, but based on like the limited amount of action scenes we see, it seems pretty decent. I don't think that it's going to be on that failure frame or Tower of God season 2 level of animation during the fights. <laughs> Misunderstanding comedy fantasy. No, no, he seems like he is. He has some kind of powers too, though. Look at this, right? All right. And like, it's coming out literally in the next couple of weeks. So the setup of the story is like childhood friends, but everyone around him is super powerful. He himself is apparently super weak. They're like an undefeated party, amazing treasure hunters, but everything is riddled in comedy. So not really like One Punch Man where he is so strong that he's looking for a challenge, but more of a fraud has been positioned into a place of undefeated title and other people might try to like, I don't know, just try to fuck with them. The waifus, right? The girls' designs, they look great. The fight scenes too, right? Based on the limited scenes, it looks definitely... um. Above average for just a random seasonal anime that's going to come out. And maybe this isn't a random seasonal anime. Maybe this series is going to be huge, man. And we have no idea what's about to come upon us. But 10 days, guys. 10 days. I will definitely check out the first episode. Hope you guys will enjoy it.